All right guys, so just warning, if you ever see my hair like this, it's because I'm having a really bad hair day. I popped my hair yesterday and I put way too much product in it. So it looked like really super good for that day, but I wash my hair once a week and now my hair is just like greasy feeling and didn't work out how I thought it would. So yeah, that's where we're at today. But I'm wearing my fall sweater. I bought this because I was excited for fall. So you'll be seeing a lot of it because it was $67. So it's pretty seasonal. I'll be wearing it like the next two months, probably at least once a week. So yeah, guys, uh, today we're... <laughs> I'm Reagan. Hi. Sorry. Just kind of went off there, but I'm Reagan. If you're new here, I do all things clean beauty. I've kind of switched it up. I know what I'm going to like refer to my channel as and I might do some new graphics and stuff. So I'm going to switch it up. So it's going to be clean beauty, commentary, and crimes. So my Saturday videos are usually like pretty chatty. And honestly, I would say I'm like a beauty commentary channel in a lot of ways. Like I try on and do demos of makeup, but I give a lot of commentary. So yeah, and I give commentary on like pop culture stuff as well because it's just relevant. And you know, I live on my phone and on the internet because I have like, I have three friends now. I've made a new friend. So I have more friends, but uh, I do live a lot on the internet and I've actually made a lot of friends from the internet. So yeah. Anyway, today we're talking all about skincare. So. I, I'm actually gonna get my phone and film this just so you can see my point of view right now that I'm looking down at. So this is all of the skincare and you're gonna be like, wow, girl, you're crazy. Well, some of it's not like half of it is stuff I'm planning to use next month or for the next two months. But yeah, this is what we're dealing with right now. And I'm just gonna talk about all these products, my thoughts on them and what I'm swapping in and out. Yes, this is a lot of products. Yes, I'm bougie. Yes, I do like a 12 step routine every night. Do you need to do that? No, I think the basics of skincare are a good cleanser, a good toner, and a good moisturizer and a good SPF. Uh, I do like a, you know, a mask. I do like a serum, but like if you just are kind of breaking it down to the core, those are the four things you really need. So yeah, let's roll in and start chatting about everything. This will be a long video. So kick back, relax. This is my coffee. I make this at home and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to start with oil cleansers and what I've been using. So I've kind of been alternating between these two. So I have the Josh Rosebrook. This is the Essential Balm Cleanse. And I have been using this. What I like about it, I like the smell. I don't necessarily like the texture of it and I don't have a huge bottle of this and I do want to keep, you know, using this till the end so I'm not just going to squirt it on my hands, sorry. But it's very tacky and it's hard to move around your face. That's one thing of the things about it and it doesn't rinse clean. So I've put this and I have a whole article and a video about Josh Rosebrook. I'll have that link down below. I'll have the article because the video is in the article. But this is like a mid for me because of the texture of it and because it doesn't rinse clean. So I love the scent of it. It's a very warm scent. I love the idea of it, but I just think it's a bit too thick and doesn't emulsify. And then I have the Leilani and these are very different. So this is their tropical enzyme cleansing oil. So this is also an oil cleanse. This smells very tropical. The Josh one smells very warm. As you can see, these are both like smaller sizes. That's why I've kind of been using them and trying different stuff. I love this because it smells very tropical, very fruity. This is one of my favorite Leilani products. Just smells super good. And this is Pample Mousse. So I would recommend this one. It does emulsify and I'm gonna be using some other stuff cause I like to swap stuff in and out, but I did like the Leilani one and I will say that's a favorite and like one I would highly recommend because it does rinse clean. I still do a second cleanse after everything. Uh, but yeah, I just like for my skin to not feel like it has residue on it. And I know that's weird because I end up slapping a bunch of other stuff on it. But when I clean it, I want it to feel clean. And then the oil cleansers that I'm swapping in. So I'm going back to my Alte. This is their replenisher. And I like this because this is a cleansing balm. And this has more of a like earthy scent to it as well. And it's yellow. So I'm using this again and I'm swapping it in. And what I liked about this when I used it the first time that I included it in Skincare Chronicles is 
it's emulsifying. So it rinses clean, which I really appreciate. And I'm also going to try this guy out and we'll see how it works. This is a smaller brand. They reached out to me on Instagram and I was like, yeah, sure, send me some stuff. So this is Flower and Bone Supply and they sent me their Miracle Skin Oil Cleanse. So I'm going to use this as well. It comes in this dropper container. It smells, actually, this smells kind of minty. Yeah, this smells like mint and rosemary. So what is that? I just want to see you one sec. So eucalyptus tea tree and peppermint. So I was pretty right. It does have some lavender in it. We'll see how this guy works for me. New brand to me. Um, and then cleansers. So I use quite a few cleansers. I'm just gonna be straight up about that. Um, I really, really do, and I'm aware. So these won't really be swapped in with anything because I'm wanting to use all of them up. So I'll just start with what I use in the shower. I use typically the Double Down Cosmetics. This is their The Mix Cleanser. What I really like about this is it's unscented. It's a gel cleanser. It rinses clean. Everything's, it's just like the perfect cleanser. And what it's great for in the shower is it comes in this plastic white bottle, which this white plastic is one of the best for recycling and goes in any mainstream system, just if you were wondering. And it just is great for the shower because if I drop it or something, it's not gonna break. So I don't like to have any glass in my shower. Like maybe if it had something around it to protect it or something, I'd be okay with that. But just for now, I haven't found a brand like that. So yeah, uh, I like that and I like the formula and everything. And then let me scoot stuff around just one sec. I have been using this. So this is the Stark Their Enzymatic Cleanser and Mask. So I was just using this as a cleanser and I have it in the shower because again, it does have a plastic bottle, which I know there's so much talk about like anti-plastic and I definitely have my thoughts. Maybe I should do a whole like Saturday video about this and talk about plastic in the beauty industry and my thoughts on it because I don't think it's totally negative. I do think it's overused, but at the same time, there are certain products and certain components that you need plastic for, and we just kind of have to face that and maybe create more circular systems and using these things for recycling and like figure out ways to break down the plastic and reuse it instead of just creating more and more and more. Anyway, that's a topic for a different day. So this Eclipse Cleanse, just so you guys know what it smells like, this has more of an earthy scent to it. Just let me tell you. So it has some citrus in it. Um, this does not use any essential oils. It just has, because I'm reading it right now, extracts, which essential oils are a lot more potent than extracts. That's why people have more allergies to essential oils than to extracts. So I have liked this. And what I was surprised by with this is I was just using it as a cleanser. That's what I was talking about before. And just like washing it off my face. And it was nice and stuff. And then one day I was just reading the bottle and I realized that this is a mask as well. So I left it on as like a three to five minute flash mask. And then I took a shower and I came out and my face was like pretty red and I was like wow you know I didn't think that would actually like work as a mask and a cleanser because it worked fine as a cleanser and my face was actually pretty red from it and my face does get red from like more glycolic -y type acid products so this does work as a mask and then it died down very quickly after I mean this isn't one if you're going to do that like mask method to like go out immediately after like be aware of that and be aware of sun protection but yeah, those are the two I've been using in the shower. I do like both of them. They're both a little bit different. And we did, I always say we, I got this in a Boxwalla limited edition, the Stark cleanser. So yeah. And then these two are my outside of the shower. Yes, this is how extreme I am. This is how extra I am. I have my outside the shower cleansers because these come in glass bottles. So I have this and I really have liked this. I like some of Tata Harper's products and I'm going to talk about another one that I'm swapping in. I feel like she does really good basic products like cleanser, toner, moisturizer. Great. The products I've tried that are like more active, I haven't loved as much, but I'm not talking about any of those today. This clarifying cleanser though is bomb. This is my second bottle of it. It smells amazing. It smells like peppermint and peppermint mixed with like herbals. It's a very interesting scent. It's a gel cleanser, rinses clean, kind of, it doesn't foam up, but cause you know, all of these cleansers are like SLS free, but it does like suds up a little bit and then you rinse it off and it kind of is like tingly, not in a negative way, just in like a refreshing way because the scent is just something. Like I love this. I would reorder it when it's empty. 
Um, I love Tata Harper's packaging. There's a lot I love about the brand. There's a lot I don't love and there's a lot I don't like about a lot of brands. But yeah, this one I think is one of the most known brands in clean beauty and that's why it gets a lot of like negative attention in a lot of ways and positive as well. Like the product though. Okay, and then the Ina Bio Adaptive Cleanser. So this has white tea and poria in it. So I have liked this. So I've used quite a bit of this actually. This is a cream cleanser. This doesn't rinse totally clean. So that's one of my things with it that I'm not obsessed with it. Like I am maybe their face masks or their oils and there's some other things, even their toner I like a little bit more. But this is like, okay. Uh, it's good if I am not planning on using a lot of stuff afterwards if it leaves that little bit of like residue But I just like something again that does rinse clean as a cleanser, but it smells good It smells like lemongrass and it is a it's beautiful if you're into that kind of you know Residue leave behind product, but for me again even for a cream cleanser like something that rinses clean The smell of that is nice. I'd say it's just like a mid product in the Yina line for me. Okay, and then I have quite a bit of toners to talk about. Okay, so I've been using this and I don't think this is technically a toner, but I use it like that. So this is the Ingredients Plant Water Mist and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this right now. So it's a super fine misting spray. If you've ever seen the Evian spray waters, that's what this is, but apparently this bottle is like, it's pressurized, but it's, it's not the kind that hurts the ozone. Like there's a sustainability factor to this because it is, we are, Blah, 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 blah. I'm flubbing stuff up. But we got this in a beauty hero, again with the we, I got this in a beauty heroes box. And I really have liked this. It's different than the Evian because it smells good. So it has rose hydrosol and a roly lavender hydrosol, and then it has a probiotic in it. So I've liked it. My skin's liked it. I think the misting factor is cool. Um, I'm a little extra using it as a toner because the thing is it feels really light. So that's one thing I'm not obsessed with with these aerosols is you don't know how much is left in it, but yeah, I like it. And then this, I heard a lot of hype about and I don't like it. So it's the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. First off, I don't like the scent of it. The scent of this ingredients, like with this rose and and lavender is very nice and floral. It's very light, but again, it's hydrosols, not essential oils. It's not even extract, so it's pretty light. Um, this smells like water that has something added to it. And I don't know, my skin's just not like amazed by it. Everyone who I heard talk about it, and that's why I purchased it, I did purchase a smaller one, was like, this is amazing. And for me, I'm just kind of like, uh, it's fine. Um, the ingredients of it I'm trying to find are just water and sodium chloride and some sort of acid, hypochlorous acid. I don't know, it just, it hasn't been like shocking for me. And maybe I just use so many like clean beauty brands that I'm like, I don't mean to be this person, like I'm special, but I feel like I'm a little next level with things where it's like, I expect like really, really good and not just like, it's fine kind of thing. Okay, and then this I do really like. Um, I'm just gonna spray it once so I can give you guys a scent profile. So this is the Yina, this is their prebiotic and Tremilia essential mist. So this smells like tea to me. It's just like a light herbal scent and I really like this quite a bit. So I've used quite a bit. I use quite a bit of my Yina products this month. And yeah, this is a good one. It has a nice spray on it, very hydrating. And it reminds me because if you're newer to me, I lived in like Taiwan, China and Hong Kong. And it just reminds me of the region. And I've been really depressed, frankly, lately because I miss going there. I miss my friends and family that are there. <sighs> and I just am ready for the skies to open up and it's been really hard on me. So that's one of the things I've really enjoyed about Unit. Yes, I've done an Instagram sponsorship with them and they're lovely to work with. They're very kind brand and brand founders, but like what I've been drawn to with this brand truly is like, I don't wanna cry, but I miss, I miss it there and I miss my family. Okay, so trying to like, blink back tears and get through this, but this is another new one from Flower and Bone. I haven't used this yet. This is their nourishing toner. So this, I'm going to put these three aside, the ingredient, the Tower 28 and the Yina for later days. And I'm going to swap this in. So I'm kind of interested in the scent profile of it because I haven't used it yet. Oh, so that kind of smells peppermint. Yeah, it says essential oils of peppermint and rosemary. 
So this has food-based ingredients. So interesting. I'll use this and let you guys know. And then this is from the Beauty Heroes box. So these two items, and I've started doing reels on Instagram for Beauty Heroes, and I'll start putting them on, my husband told me I should do this. I Sometimes I hate when he's right. Like, I don't like when he gives me advice on like my like business. I'm fine with like home stuff and whatever, but when it like comes to like my content, I'm like, I've built this. But okay, but anyway, he's right about this. I'm not that petty, but um, I'm gonna start putting my everything, like I'm reusing content. I'll put my uh, Insta Reels on here so you guys can see them because I know some of you guys don't like Instagram, that's fine. I like it, but everyone's different. But we got this brand, which I looked up how to say it multiple times on YouTube to make sure I said it right. It's Yoaquina Botanica. So this is a Hispanic, I believe, brand, and this is Hispanic Heritage Month in the US. So I believe that's why they're highlighting this brand. I'm not, I don't think that's why, but they added this brand this month, and I think that's part of the reason they're like, they added this is the Beauty Heroes Discovery. So I'll talk about this one in a sec, but I am going to open and start using the, the uh, Hydrating Essence love the packaging it comes in this glass bottle and i haven't seen this color scheme being used much in clean beauty and the scent of this is fresh kind of reminds me of peony so yeah it has calendula and peptide so you can still get this beauty heroes box and get this product in it it's a pretty hefty size and i really again the packaging spot on okay and then is my active <laughs> yes i'm extra and Toner to me, I go through very quickly. Like you might see me setting these aside, um, but when I say I'm setting them aside, I'll bring them back eventually and use them up. Like I try not to be wasteful. I do this series kind of like I do Top Shelf Tuesday. The thing about skincare is because I like to use stuff more consistently to see how it really works on my skin. I only do this like every other month I've decided. And yeah, that's just what I've kind of started to do. But, Anyway, so these, this is what I've been using and this is what I'm gonna switch out. So this is the Josh Rosebrick Daily Acid Toner. And I think I talked about this last time and I kept using it. I've loved this product. It smells kind of like honey to me, but it doesn't have honey in it. It's just kind of sweet. And what I've been surprised with is I did, again, that whole blog post and whenever I was writing that out, I was just thinking about this and I was like, this is such a good one. And it's actually pretty affordable, especially for Josh's line. Like affordable I know is relative, but I think it's like under 30. And I see real results from it. Like my skin is glowier. My skin is like becoming more toned and like even. It's just a really good one. So I am going to put this aside, um, but that doesn't mean that I don't like it so everyone knows. And then I'm swapping in, this is the uh, Hanua, this is a newer product to me and I think to them, their Hawaiian Beauty Water. So this is a little bit more active. I have the box over there, let me get it so I can read it to you guys because it's really new to me so I can't remember. The Daily Acid Toner has like some glycolics and stuff in it. Beautiful, love it. Okay, so I just went and got the box and this has in it, I was just reading. Papaya enzymes, willow bark, hibiscus, and sugar cane. So together it's a gentle and, effects, and, and effective tonic for exfoliating. So I'm going to swap this guy in. Uh, I'm excited for it and stuff. Uh, so I can't really speak much on it. The scent, I can tell you. I don't want to waste it, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, that just kind of smells fresh. It actually kind of smells like a baby wash or something. I wouldn't say baby powder, but like a baby wash. So just really gentle. Okay, and then I kind of been using these interchangeably, but I was using this one the most. So this is the Huggins. I'm probably saying that wrong. If you are French, you can correct me. It's Huggins Paris. So this to me seems like it's like an apothecary, like Parisian line and it's clean. So I like this because it smelled like a cucumber. It's pretty light. It's like a mix between a lotion and a serum. So it's white in consistency. I did like it and I really like the scent because 
we all kind of, I or maybe I shouldn't generalize, but I like the scent of cucumber for stuff under the eyes because, you know, it was the thing growing up, like putting cucumber around your eyes. And that was like the advice that all the beauty magazines would give. So it just reminds me of like my youth. So I did like that one. I am, and I have been using this one once I got it. So I'm going to focus more on using this because I really like this one more. I mean, they're both good. If you're looking for something a little more affordable, this one's great. But if you're like in the mood for something a little more next level, this one I like because it's the Violets Are Blue Eye Illuminate Gel Eye Cream. So what I like about this, I'm just going to try and get a tiny amount out. So this is a jelly-like consistency, which I love, but it is a little bit illuminating, not glittery, not even shimmery. And it just, it doesn't really have much of a scent to it which is probably better for the under eye region. I get milly if something's too heavily scented, but this is like the right consistency and I've loved it. This was from a, ju uh, I was gonna say a jewelry, um, but this is from a Beauty Heroes seven year anniversary box I did. And this huge in line is from a detox market box. So, okay oils. So I'm just going to talk about what I've been using, what I'm going to swap in. Oils aren't my favorite. Um, just so you guys know, they're just not. Um, and it's because we often get them in subscription boxes and I'm going to get into it, but I just feel like I get a lot of them. So this is one that I actually have really liked, like saying that I don't like oil, but then this is the one I've liked the most. So this is the Cheeky Healing Hemp Face Serum. So I've used about half of this and pretty herbal scent to it. It's made with CBD, which I think is nice. And it's just a really light oil. It's relatively affordable as like, again, relative to whatever, but it has 125 milligrams of pure CBD, smells nice and herbal, and I've been using it now, and I've had no adverse reactions. My skin has done well with it, and my skin likes oil enough. It's just like, I'm not always, the most excited to always talk about it. So these are the Stark skincare products. So I have City and Everlasting. So City is their light daytime oil, and then Everlasting is like... <sighs> These look like they're essential oil bottles. They're not, like these are for the face. And when we got these, I thought they were gonna be essential oils. These came with that one Stark they, cleanser. They were in the Beauty Heroes limited edition. So this Calm, all right, so my camera died because this is a long video and I've been talking a while, but this Calm has blue tansy in it and it also has heliochrism, which I know is super good for the skin. Let me just make sure it has blue tansy because I smelled that on it. Mm. You make sure I'm not pulling your legs. I could have sworn that I read that it did. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But it has an aloe base and it does have a couple of different kinds of heliochrism in it. Which my friend has told me about and she loves heliochrism because it is really good for the skin and really healing. So what you're supposed to do with these products is you use the light day oil and you can use this by itself. But then you can add a couple drops of this into like up its calming healing properties. And it's a cool mix. Again, I, this was in a box all a limited edition. This was a newer brand to me. I'd heard of them before, but I hadn't tried anything from them. But anyway, I did like this. I thought it was cool. Um, oil's not my favorite thing though. I prefer a cream, but Let's get into what was in this month's box wall of subscription because I haven't even opened these. I just thought I'd open them with you. I think they're oils. So yeah, these are all from La Par and we got again these three in the box wall of, um, monthly box for October, I believe. So we got their smoothing operator, which is an unfolding face balsam, which this is a luxury skin sun. let's see what the base of this is so this is chia seed oil base which is interesting let's open this up okay some on the back of my hand okay that smells super fresh all right so super fresh scent i will use this it actually is kind of a drier oil like i'm just feeling it it's not so like slicky feeling and then we also got the summer wine even tone antioxidant shield so that's this one and 
Let's see what this feels like. Okay, this is a little bit slicky of an oil. This smells more olive oily. Let's see if I was right with that. So its base is grape fruit and Chardonnay and Syrah's grape, which is interesting. This actually has some 24 karat gold in it. So, okay, so that one's a little more slicky again, and then the other one's a little more dry. And then this is a firming face and neck oil. Okay, and then this one is a lot more slicky in feeling. Yeah, and that smells like olive oil. Um, the base of it is primrose seed oil. And all right, so here's my thoughts. We got also in Beauty Heroes this month, and I'm not going to open this just because I have a lot going on oil-wise that's open. And oils actually are something that you need to use pretty quickly once you open them or else they go rancid. So this is the Yoa Queen Botanica Hydrating Glow Oil. We got this in Beauty Heroes. I'm just going to set this aside unopened. Sorry, guys. Like... <laughs> I know that I maybe I should be a good influencer and like smell it for you all and tell you about it, but I'm not because I want to save it. Whether I do a giveaway with it or like donate it to the women's shelter, I just don't want to waste it by opening something new. But my thoughts on this box in general, I kind of wish we just got like one of these because we do have a pamphlet to tell us how to use it and I have it right here, but I'll be straight up honest that I didn't really read it yet. I just kind of pulled these out and was like, oh, and this is just a lot of oils. I wish we would have maybe gotten like one or two and then something that's water-based. But I'll give them a try and see my thoughts on them. Um, but yeah, that's just my initial reaction is just kind of like, it's a lot of oil for one face situation. And here's where I'm going to go off on my little tangent. I feel like we get a lot of oils in boxes and I wish we got more water-based serums and products like that. And I'm going to get into the serums right now that I've been using, but that's just like a note for subscription box curators. Like I'm just saying as someone who uses the stuff from these boxes, I personally use water-based products so much faster than I use up a oil. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then serum. So I have been using two and I'm almost empty of this. So this is the Hugens Paris. This is their uh, hyaluronic serum. So nice packaging. And this is also, again, um, I'd say it's like a prestige brand in Clean Beauty. It's not quite like $200 for this serum, but it's not five. Like it's something in between. Like it's like 30, I believe. This is... I'd say it's like a mid-high for me because it's not my favorite. Uh, sir, I'm getting flubbed up, but it's not my favorite serum I've ever used, but it's hydrating. I clearly used it. It did nothing bad for my skin. It was hydrating again, but I didn't feel like it did anything extra aside from like hydrate and that's it. And yeah, so I'm just thinking like, I'm glad I got it in a subscription box, but I wouldn't repurchase it because I just didn't feel any like big change. Kind of the same for this one from Ingredients. So we got this also in a Beauty Heroes box and this has various extracts. It has some mushroom in it, rose hydrosol, and it has some prebiotics in it. It's nice for hydrating, but that's really it. It's like a superficial product, meaning like it hydrates the skin, but I don't feel like it's like penetrating and doing much else aside from like surface level work and... Yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. So this I am excited about. I have an inch on my nose. This, I went to a Beauty Heroes event and I got to see Kapua and I got this when I was up there. So this is the Hanua. I don't know why I'm holding this and like, that was weird. So it has a uh, hibiscus beauty booster with hyaluronic and astatothin. I'm not saying that right. So this astathin is what gives it its red color. So it's like a red seaweed, which is super good for the skin. So it does smell a little bit fresh, maybe kind of like hibiscus, if hibiscus was in a bottle. And it kind of has a similar color to hibiscus. So this does have hyaluronic acid in it as well. I'm going to switch this in. We'll see how I like it. I used it like once just to see but yeah that's a newer product that I'm adding in and then I have some moisturizers I'm, I'm getting close to done guys I know this is long but I want to be thorough so the two I've been using this is the cheeky face and I mostly have been using this in the morning this is almost empty I really like this I like their facial oil but this is like a very special 
emulsion moisturizing product like it's just different like the oils basic this is like extra so this has all organic cold pressed virgin oils and butters and then aloe vera so it's like an emulsion of both of them and that's the base of it it just feels really nice on the skin because it feels like jelly almost and then it does absorb into the skin. It kind of feels like watery, but it has those oils in it. It's just really cool. So I really like this. I will be setting that aside though, because I want to incorporate some other things. And my skin has liked that. The scent of it, pretty fresh. And then this I've loved. This brand is very interesting to me because it kind of looks to me like it's just going to be like a fun, like if anyone knows Wild Fox Couture, that's what this reminds me of Little Fox, Little Fox, excuse me, like in branding, but they're different brands, of course, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. And I just wasn't thinking that it'd be a super effective brand, but I've been using their vitamin C and I have reorganized everything and I'm going to do a blog post or something about them. And their products are bomb. Like this has multiple kinds of peptides in it. It's very pricey. We did, again with the wheat, I got this in a Beauty Heroes box. And it has like niacinamide, marshmallow root, and it has five powerful peptides in it. And I feel like it really does plump out the skin. Peptides for my skin are just like amazing. I don't know what I'm doing with my arms, but they're just amazing. Like I feel like they really work. It's like, that's what I kind of think is missing from those two serums I talked about that are just like, superficial like I feel like peptides get in there and like do the work like hyaluronic's great for superficial stuff but if you want stuff that's going to get there and do the work peptides it is so this really works to me it smells amazing like it has like these this like nighttime floral scent to it the color of it is amazing I've been pretty darn impressed with this line and yeah, I am going to set it aside. This is a little bit thicker of a product. I only used it at night. Sometimes I'd use it in the day if my skin was super dry, but ones I liked. And then I'm actually adding in old products because I want to use these up. So I have my jo Josh, Josh Rosebrook, their Vital Balm Cream. So I only have a little bit of this left. Love the scent of this. This does have blue pansy in it. And I think it has aloe in it as well. So I have liked this. This has been a favorite. So adding this one back in as my nighttime cream. I like something a little bit thicker at night. And then this I'm adding back in as well as my day cream. So this is the Tata Harper. They're fortifying moisture for sensitive skin. I've been impressed with this one. It's just a really light jelly. Doesn't have like a super strong, it's a little bit floral fragrance or scent to it. So yeah, uh, adding these both back in, excited about those. And then sunscreen. So I did use a couple of things up. I used up the old packaging of the Josh Rosebrook Tinted Day Creams and those are in, that's in empties. And then I also used up my Blissoma Photonic or Photonic, both really good. Both two of my favorites and would highly recommend them as SPFs. So now what I've done is I am adding in to my routine and I've been doing this a couple of days. I do one pump of the nutrient day cream and one pump of the tinted nutrient day cream. These are the new packaging from Josh Rosebrook. So I like the tinted one and I, here's the deal. I want to use both of them up and I get a little bit of white cast from the new formulation of the untinted version. So I've just been mixing them and I get no white cast. I like the finish of it. If you somehow have both of them, worth mixing them together and try. Again, get no white cast. My skin looks nice and I don't get as much of a tint or glow that way, but I'm fine with it. I really just use this as an SPF and that's it. It does say it's like a primer, sunscreen, moisturizer, all this stuff. I think it is just a little bit thin in formulation and I like a little bit thicker of a moisturizer. So yeah, that's why I do just use this on top of everything. I'm actually wearing this today. So that's SPF I'm using. All right, all. So let me know your thoughts down below. I talked about a lot of stuff. My voice is going hoarse. Um, yeah. And thank you guys so much for sticking through to the end of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy like these longer videos when I chat about everything. This is what I was doing at the beginning of my channel and I got into doing five videos a week. I stopped doing the longer form ones and now that I'm gonna be launching my own brand, there's been some problems with US customs, but that's like universal across a lot of industries. So it is what it is. I'm just waiting at this point. Like I'm all ready. I have everything else ready, but I just need my product. But 
yeah, it's a lot easier for me when I just sit down and film and film for you guys and like for myself, let's be frank. And I like doing a long form. I like being thorough and I'm kind of getting back to my roots and I enjoy it. So yeah. Anyway, all let me know your thoughts down below and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.